The installation of a new generation green speed or extreme condensing unit, requires a dash B wall control running version 3.0 software or later. This video will show how to update an infinity wall control to software version 3.00, using a micro SD card. The first step is to prepare the micro SD card with the correct files for the update. Connect the micro SD to your PC or laptop using an adapter if necessary. Open a browser and navigate to CE Florida's customer assurance website at www.customerassurancefl.com Once on the home page, go to the Equipment Document tab. From the drop-down, select TSTATS Controls Zoning and IAQ. Scroll down the TSTAT page to Communicating Controls and Thermostats. There you will find two sections for wall control firmware. The controller being updated with version 3.0 in this case is a carrier B. Clicking on the correct software update link will take you to the wall control version 3.00 release notes. Scroll down the page and select the link to the software release package. At the bottom of the end user license agreement you can agree to the terms to access the software. Where you can then select download. A zipped folder will be sent to the computer's downloads folder. Click the completed download to review its content. There you will find a folder called tstat, tstat. The zip tstat folder and all its contents must be extracted to the micro SD card. The wall control is designed to look for user interface updates in the tstat folder only. Any previous software versions in the micro SD card's tstat folder will be automatically rewritten. With extraction complete, review the contents of the tstat folder in the micro SD card to ensure it contains the correct .hex file for the desired update. In this case, the file BINF0300.hex is the new wall control version 3.00 required for the operation of the new generation green speed extreme variable speed condensing units. Once at the wall control, ensure system mode is off and the unit is not running. Select Menu. Go to the second page, and press the service icon. On the service screen, click Software Update. Next, you will have to insert the micro SD card in the bottom of the wall control. If the card was installed properly, you should have felt it click into place. With the SD card in, press Update Software using micro SD card. The software screen comes up showing the software version currently loaded on your wall control, and the version you will be updating to from the card. In this case, 3.00. If satisfied, select Yes to initiate the software update. With the software update started, and while it runs, the wall control screen will display, uploading. This could take some time, depending on the length of the software files being updated. For your convenience, we have sped up sections of this video. On the other hand, the clock on the screen reflects real time for you to use as a reference. Upon completion, the wall control will display, software successfully upgraded to version. And right below will list the number of the software just installed. You will then have to select done. This will get the wall control to restart. Once restart is complete, the carrier logo will flash on the wall control screen. At this point, the wall control will search for the equipment, and it will prompt you if your input is required in order to complete its reinitialization process. The update from software version 2.4 to 3.0 took 5 minutes and 21 seconds to complete. This wall control is now ready to be installed and commissioned on a system using a new infinity green speed or Evolution Extreme Condensing Unit.